Yeah. I found this quote that mm -hmm. I wanted to bring up. Oh, yes. Um, Hit me with the quote. It's really quick and easy and simple, mm -hmm. but I think it's like a little deep. Right. Um, it says, being a woman in a male-dominated industry, you are so afraid of people thinking you are weak. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. And here, here's the thing. I've always noticed it definitely has a double standard. Mm -hmm. For example, if a male actor drops weight mm -hmm. or gains weight mm -hmm. for a role, mm -hmm. people say, wow, he's dedicated. Mm. Wow, he's really worked hard for this role. Right. If a woman drops weight or gains weight, and I have no problem doing that if I ever get a role in the future and they're like, hey, you need to drop like 30 pounds and get in fit condition for this role right. or gain 50 pounds for this role. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. I couldn't care less what people say if that's the art that I want to produce. Right. But when a woman does it, it's like, oh, is she anorexic? Or does right. she have some sort of eating disorder? What's wrong with her? Mentally. Right. Not, it's not shown in a, a good light in terms of, mm -hmm. oh, wow, she's dedicated. She's mm -hmm. dedicated to that role. She really put work in. Yeah. It's more of like, oh, what's wrong with her? Yeah. She, how's she going to lose the weight that she gained? Exactly. You don't ask Like, she's about. not strong enough to actually lose that weight and, like, be super positive about performing in this new role. Right. She's, something's wrong right. with her and she's, like, you know, maybe ill or sick or something. Right. right. And then the That's other, interesting. The other side of that quote is, yeah, do people think that we can do it? Right. That's the other side. Yeah. Like, oh, you think I'm weak? Cool. Let me prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. Do they think men are weak? No. They give you that. They're like, hey, you're a dude. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Come on, man. Sure. Buck up, buttercup. You know, like, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think also um, there is there is something to be said about, you know, even men who are kind of like faced with that sort of disparity. Like, oh, my God, I got to like, you know, you know, buck up or whatever. You know, I've got to like, you know, kind of match what people think I should be. Right. And, you know, I think that women go through that all the time. So it's like you believe that the women at your job are weak and they shouldn't really be able to do that because they just don't are not skilled enough, right? Or they just, you know, in that one article we were talking about earlier, it says, like, you know, women just can't be as funny as men. It just is. Like, there was a guy, Chris something, I can't remember his name mm -hmm. off the top of my head, and I'm not looking at the article, mm -hmm. but he said, I mean, it was just disgusting what he said. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very male chauvinistic, mm -hmm. and it was very, like, yeah, women can't be as funny as men. They just can't. Like, they're housewives, and that's what they need to do. And they're, um, you know, they're um, machine, baby-making machines, period. Like, and I'm serious about this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Did that really happen? You know? So I think it's that, that thing that we have to, like, overcome. Right, because it's disturbing for us as a society. Right. That people actually think that way. Right. And it would be great if someone would encourage that man to think differently. Totally. Because he has a mother, he has a female right. in his life, like you wouldn't be here unless mm -hmm. there was a female in your life. I love you. Yeah.